Hey guys, this is Patrick Lee from Slush Films, and today we'll be bringing you another tutorial on the Java programming language. Now, please excuse me from uh, my sick voice. Um, I am pretty sick right now, but I decided to shoot this video anyways. So, uh, let's get started by first opening up your uh, browser of choice and um, clicking the link in the description. And uh, once you get to the site, you want to select your language. You're probably English. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how you're going to understand this video if you're not English. Um, then choose your operating system. Mine is Mac OS X. And then from here, um, you should choose the Java SE, but um, you can also choose Java FX, Java, or you could choose all. Um, I would recommend going with Java if you're going to do some uh, more than the standard edition. But if you're going to program in all languages, go with the all. Now, I already have this installed. So, uh, yeah. So, after you download it, install it, uh, it will probably be like continue, continue, install, whatever. And once you installed it, um, we're going to open it up. So, here's NetBeans 6.9.1 right here. And we're going to open this up. Now, NetBeans does take a long time to open up. Uh, so... I'm gonna come back when we're finished. Now, before I go back, uh, go. Um, I want to tell you guys. Before in the other video, I told you guys we're gonna be using Eclipse. Now I kind of changed my mind because NetBeans, I think, uh, is growing popularity, and it's a very good program, both for the Mac and for the Windows and other operating systems, and and uh, it has a more user-friendly interface than Eclipse. That's what I think. Um, and also it has a, a GUI editor inside of it, which is really good. So um, uh, I'll come back when this is finished loading. And uh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, NetBeans just opened up, and this is how it should look like. From here, we're going to click on File, New Project. And we're going to uh, <laughs> let it load. And we're going to select Java in the categories. And in the project, we're going to click Java Application. And we're going to click Next. And we're going to name our Java application. Let's call it uh, Test. And in the main class, we're just going to delete um, the dot main. And then we're going to click Finish. And it's going to create the project. And we're going to wait for it to load. Okay guys, so now it's finished the loading uh, the project is up and it should look like this something like this at least um, So as you can see there's a lot of uh, uh, Code here that we can just delete for now um, And it's a great feature that NetBeans has it automatically has all of this but for our purposes We're just gonna delete all of it and um, as you can see here. This is our project uh, right here, this is nothing, let's just hide that. So this is our test, and in the source packages, we can see in the default package, there's a test.java, and that is the class file. So it already opened up, and let's, um, as we talked about before, we're going to start our, uh, our, our class, and we're going to name it test, and then we're going to put some parameters, and in between those parameters, we're going to put the method how we're gonna actually load up the um, how we're gonna run the program so it's public static void main string args and that's good and inside that we're gonna put another set of parameters and as you can see uh, NetBeans uh, automatically puts it there um, and also color codes everything so that's why we're not going to use text edit or notepad and we're going to use something uh, that's a little more easier to use so inside of here uh, we're going to do the same thing as we did before in the previous tutorial so we can just get a feel of NetBeans and we're going to type in hello world whatever and put that semicolon there uh, to tell it to go to the next line um, and you should 
pretty much know what this means by now. And we're going to save this by going to File, uh, Save. And right here, we can press Run Main Project. And as you can see, it's going to load up. And it should say Hello World. Uh, let's just wait for it. And as you can see, Hello World. So this is very simple to use because we do not need to um, compile it and then we need to we don't need to run it in terminal uh, this automatically does it for us um, <clears throat> excuse me um, yeah so we don't need to do all the manual stuff it automatically does it all so this is just a quick tutorial on uh, the Java programming language and how to install NetBeans how to download it and um, making a simple application inside of it and uh, thanks for watching guys I'll making I'll be making more tutorials on this language uh, coming up and check out my Twitter and Facebook links down below and also uh, like this rate this uh, video and comment below if you have any questions and please subscribe it really helps me out so thanks for watching guys um, see you guys later bye